welcome back we are done with our 37 uh, degrees incubation for our antibody identification panel I'm putting them now into the serifuge in order to spin and then read for agglutination so uh, we have already added the two drops of low ionic strength solution in order to get rid of any um, any ion cloud that was present in the uh, reagent red cell preservative solution okay and now we are going to spin them and see if we can get any antigen antibody uh, reactions so I'll get back to you all right so we are back and we are expecting for cells five seven and nine to be the only positive ones so let's go ahead and read our results okay so panel cells one two and three here look negative panels four five and six up oh, that five is positive let's set that right there four and six are negative two okay five let's see five five is about a one plus okay um okay we're on seven and eight seven is about a one plus as well see eight is negative up oh, nine is a one plus okay so that's ten 11 and 12, they're negative. 13 and 14 are looking negative too. 15 and 16. So remember this is our 37 phase, those are negative and this is the auto control. That looks negative too. Okay, so so now we have to add the um, sorry, do the wash step before we add our AHG. So we need to add the saline, the normal saline, to three quarters, three quarter of the way up to each side of the tube. Then we, set, we gently mix them, centrifuge them for 15 seconds, and then we pour off the saline. We don't um, mess up the button at the bottom. You can see how to do that in the antibody screen video. And I'm gonna do all of that off screen so that we can get this going. And I'm losing battery on my phone, so. Um, I will be doing three to four wash steps, and I'll see you when I'm done with that, and we'll continue. All right, so I did all the wash steps, and now we're going to add the, um, the poly-specific um, anti-IgG and C3D, also known as the anti-globulin reagent. Okay. So we'll add one drop of the AHG to each tube. Make sure it actually gets in the tube and that you don't put bubbles in there. You may end up getting to the end of how much you have in the little dropper. And then uh, you may have to go back in. I don't really know where I stopped. I think I did. I think 10 needs to have it. Okay, so make sure when you go to um, get more reagent that you know which ones of these you stopped on. 
Okay, so I'm gonna load them back into the Cirafuge and spin them again, and that will be our AHG phase, and then we'll almost be done, because uh, then all we'll have to do is add the check cells to the negative, um, the negative cells. All right, so I'll see you in a minute. All right, so we're back to read the AHG. So this is panel cells one and two, and they're negative, as to be expected, three and four. They're negative, as to be expected, five should be positive, and it is. We're back to one plus. Let's do just six alone. Six is negative. Seven is a weak positive. Where's that sheet of paper I was using? So see, that's positive. So that's weak. And then we're on eight. Nine is positive. Eight. Eight is negative. Nine is looking like a weak as well. Well, you know what, I'll call that a, I'll call that a one. Now we're on 10 and 11. 10 we already looked at was negative. This is 11 and 12, those are negative. 13 and 14, also negative. 15 and 16, negative. And auto control, negative as well. Okay. So I put um, nine back at week because it wasn't really that, um, that big of a glutenate. So all of these, one through four, are negative, and they're going to need check cells. Number five was positive, so we don't do that. Eight, six was negative, and we'll do check cells. Eight, same thing. Ten through the auto control are all going to get check cells. So let's do that. All right, we don't need to um, we don't need to dump out anything, okay? Because we want the reagent to still be in there. This. Notice how there's cells sticking to the bottom of this. I need to make sure to mix this. Um, then we're going to add one drop of this to each, each tube, and that way, each tube that was negative, and that way we'll be able to see um, if it truly was a negative. So one through four we're going to do. All right, so one drop in one through four. Five was a positive, so we're going to take that out. Seven was a positive, and nine was a positive. So I just moved those so I don't need to worry about accidentally putting it in there. So I'm in 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and auto. Okay, so this is going to be the last time that we're going to spin them, okay? So shake them a little and put them in the Cirafuge. Again, we're not going to be doing the ones that were positive. There's no need for that. And hopefully we'll be able to, no, we still have to use two Cirafuges. Okay, so I will get back to you. All right, so I got all of them out of the Cirafuge and let's do our reactions now. Okay, they should be positive, and they're looking kind of weak here, so 
Let's see. Hmm. I am not seeing any agglutinates. One, two, and... Okay, so the reason that this is happening is because it's the end of my work day and I wanted to get home on time <laughs> and my phone is dying. So I'm not really seeing positives in these because I did not do all of the wash steps off camera. So this is a good lesson for you all to learn that you do not skip steps because you're not going to have reactions the way you would expect. And that is not good patient care anyway. Okay, so we do have a couple that are weakly positive here. So I suspect that, yeah, some of these are actually weakly positive. Um, I suspect that all of these would be positive um, and more pronounced had I done all those wash steps. Also, they're most likely positive, but microscopically. So just for the sake of um, me finishing out this uh, panel, I'm just going to say that they were positive. Some were uh, more visible than others, and I, I don't have time to check them on the, uh, on the microscope. So again, this is just a learning experience, a tutorial, so I am not sticking with proper procedure only because of my battery um, and I need to get home. But anyway, um, make sure that you never ever skip steps like I just did because as you just saw, it does not work out. Um, but to finish this out, all of this looked appropriate anyway because of what I actually put in there. And so I just put um, the checks here that we did get positives, even though clearly, you know, we did not see that, but they should be there microscopically. So, um, what I'm going to do is fill out this um, reaction paperwork. So we have a we have an aloe antibody because we see that the reactions were in um, just the donor cells. There was no reaction in the patient auto control. So we know that this is an aloe antibody. And I'm going to interpret this with you in another video. Uh, so I'll see you then. Thank you so much for watching and catch the next video to talk about how to interpret these results and uh, subscribe if you've enjoyed what you've been seeing. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.